that's how I made the stones that go in these glow-in-the-dark steps. There are 45 of these river stones in these stairs and I had to grind down every single one of them. It took me two days. Then I painted them with a base color of white and proceeded to decorate each of the steps in black first. I actually really enjoyed painting these stones even though it also took me a couple of days. For inspiration, I used this book that I have in my lap. It's called Zen Tangle. I really love Zen Tangle. It's very relaxing and, and sometimes I'll do it on paper and not on stones. If you're interested in a, more on Zen Tangle, you can Google Zen Tangle or you can visit the link in my bio. And if you'd like to see more videos where tech and art meet great designs, go ahead and like and follow my page. I then proceeded to paint with these glow-in-the-dark paints. I actually ended up painting them several times because I kept messing up, so you'll kind of see them going through different stages of finish throughout this video. I repainted the whole thing at the very end. I then filled these forms with gravel and then paper sand and then placed the stones and leveled them to make sure that they were flat and easy to walk on. As mentioned before, I did have to redo these stairs like three times. Here I am putting in polymetric sand, which I just didn't end up really liking. They worked okay, but it wasn't exactly what I was looking for. And then I tried finishing it with this black snow, which was trash. It just got so dirty and I did not like the way that it turned out, so I, I tore it all up. I then tried this self-leveling masonry concrete filler and it also looked like trash so I tore all that up. I finally went with self-leveling cement and it actually turned out really good. I don't know why I didn't do it in the first place because I did consider it and it poured very easily and honestly looks amazing. I then sealed the whole thing in this UV resistant resin to protect it from foot traffic. And then one of my favorite parts, I get to burn it with a torch so I can get all the air bubbles out. So much fun. I think it turned out pretty great. And here it is with the black lights on, which I use to charge the glow-in-the-dark stones. They turn on every hour or so. And this is what it looks like when it's just glowing. Uh, let me know if you like it in the comments.